make sure you leave room for a fan. That's the moral of the story. If you take anything away. Oh, the hills are alive with the sound of radon. Well, hey folks, what are we doing today? We're on a roof way up high and we are working on a passive radon system. Why are we doing that? Well, so, by the way, my name is Scott. I make videos for radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. And if you're a homeowner, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's the National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code right there. And that'll put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. So, this is a real estate transaction. And uh, I was called upon to activate a passive radon system because it failed. And so, as you can see in this picture, there's no room to put a fan right here. So this video is, well, it's not the first I've made about this subject because in my neck of the woods, new construction is, is starting, to, it's starting to become the standard to go ahead and put passive radon systems in. However, there's still more to learn that uh, the, the builders could stand to um, you know, be privy to. And I'm not pooping on the builders because, hey, I can't build a house. So um, I, just want you, I just want to help you make your passive radon systems better and anticipate the possibility of needing them activated. See, I've got to charge extra for this work that I'm doing today. So I just want to help, that's all. So right here, this is the original radon pipe and we've cut it and we've capped it. I'm not gonna do a bunch of roof work, roofing work out here. It's a long way down and I'm not a roofer. I can, I can get stuff done and I can, make, I can readjust this pipe to emerge here with a fan below, but um, I, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cap it. That's all I'm gonna do and, and they're gonna have to be happy with that. Nobody will ever see this anyway. That's a long way down over there. It's long enough way down over here. All right, so I'll take you inside and uh, we'll show you how we've got it all put together. Okay, now we are in the attic. All right, so that's where the pipe originally was and to reference, that's the uh, plumbing vent. And we've lopped that off and we've affixed the uh, fan right there. We want to take as many turns out of the system as possible. So we're just going to 45 it, 45 it, and then out of the room. To put a radon fan inside of a home is, is a, little, a little more labor intensive than uh, the outside, unless you're building the house. So that, that comes in handy. If you're going to do it, that's a really good time to do it. What's, what happens is uh, the public gets deceived and I don't mean that in a, like a nefarious type of way, but what they do is, you know, when they go to buy the house, they're presented with these options and they see radon. Okay, cool. Well, that pipe says radon on it. Uh, so we can go ahead and move on. That problem is licked. Uh, well, apparently not in, in this case. So I, I, you know, I just, I want to save the builders some trouble. Uh, I want to educate, you know, people buying, ho buying homes, what to look out for. Um, so here we are. It's not a it's not a huge deal to fix it, but it is going to cost more, uh, you know. To you know, and also for radon mitigators, when you're presented with the job, hey, activate a rate uh, passive radon system. What do you charge for that? Well, we charge X if everything is kosher. If we have to do additional, you know, make sure you protect yourself. If if we have to do more work, additional costs are incurred. You know, you can't always stick your head up here and see how it's looking. Um, I couldn't even see it from the outside because it's so far up off the ground from this uh, from this point of view. So I found out along the way, but I protected myself with the agreement by saying, "Hey, additional work incurs additional costs," and you know, here we are and we're doing a little bit of roofing today. We don't like to do that. So if you're building a house, just uh, try to take a few variables out of the equation. This right here, <laughs> I know what happened right here. This was a full 10 foot length of pipe. And when they were building the house, 
They said, I don't want to cut it. Just run it and then stub it out. If they would have just cut it like a foot or two, that would have given me the wiggle room to stick a fan in. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, make sure you leave room for a fan. That's the moral of the story if you take anything away from it. Also, builders, don't forget slope. Um, just pretend that a radon pipe is just like a drain, a drain line for plumbing. So, you know, where it exits, as it, as it makes its way down, um, you want to make sure that it's sloped, just like, just like a drain line for plumbing. This, uh, this was actually not sloped properly. I'm surprised there wasn't water in it, but uh, just one of those things to look out for to help you out, okay? Okay, I hope this has helped. Uh, builders, homeowners, radar mitigators alike. Um, that's, that's what we're trying to do. If it did help you, why don't you slap a thumbs up on this thing and consider subscribing. It does not cost you a dime. It means the world to me. Hope it helped. Have a great day. I'm going to get out of this hot box as soon as possible. There's a lot of stuff going on up here. It takes some doing to put these things in attics. Okay, see ya. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.